The commissioning brought in hundreds of people across the district to witness the official handover of the completed projects to the locals so that they start making use of them to foster development. Honorable Abiga Mario Kanya, the State Minister for Planning and Urban Development who doubles as the Member of Parliament for Terego East, who was the chief guest during the commissioning, tasked the lower local government leaders to take proper care of the projects being handed over to them and monitor their use so that it brings about development to the people and improve on service delivery. I'm relying on the ones at the sub level, the lower level. Make sure you see these facilities that they are well. And if you get any problem with them in this short period of time, there's what we call the defect period. These contractors who have got some of their money with us, okay? During that time, we shall use it to correct those mistakes, which we have, which we have not seen. So the mistakes will be seen when we have already left. So commission is not the end of the story. It is still continuing. And I want you to keep them well. Honorable Dr. Boka Didi Paul, the member of parliament Obongi constituency, lauded the government for extending the project to Obongi, saying the market will provide avenue for the people to sell their produce and be able to get other products from other districts. All of these will go a long way in supporting the government program of enhancing production, productivity, and value addition to contribute to the wealth creation agenda. What will be important to link to this market for it to be able to be more valuable is the question of improving on the road work networks. Honorable Buga Habib Kemis, the chairman local council 5 Obongi district, thank the government for improving on the service delivery being provided to the people of Obongi in different sectors that ranged from education, health and access to clean water system, which for long has been a major problem in the district. When the people of Obongi, when Uganda ran to, to Sudan, to southern Sudan, we only had only some few primary schools in Obongi. Less than two primary schools in Obongi. We only had some few health centers in Obongi, less than three. By right now, Honorable Minister, Obongi has more than 24 primary schools. Obongi has more than 18 health centers. Mr. Pimbaza Samuel, the resident district commission of Obongi urged the people in Obongi to unite and work together so as to bring development and re-echoed the presidential directive of always contacting groundbreaking and commissioning of projects as a way of providing accountability to the public, which the leaders in the district need to take up seriously and ensure that corruption tendencies are not being tolerated in the district. This developed Obongi. The common enemy of Obongi should be corruption. Let's fight corruption together. Let's do things the way they are supposed to be done. There is a presidential directive that there must be a groundbreaking. So whoever does not do a groundbreaking is an enemy of Obongi. The president also says there must be commissioning of any project like we are here for today for accountability. Because you can see the accountability is talking for itself. Mr. Tim Benson Humphrey, the Chief Administrative Officer of Obongi District gave an account of the funds being received by Obongi District local government under the Uganda Support for Municipal Infrastructural Development USMID project and request the government to consider increasing the amount of funds being directed to Obongi since the first phase of the funds was not enough to complete all the planned projects. If we are to achieve the above projects, we needed 27.7 billion shillings. However, given the resource envelope from government, Obongi district received 7 billion shillings. In the 7 billion shillings, we had to scope and deliver four projects. 
the Uganda Support for Municipal Infrastructural Development USMID project with funding from the World Bank is an initiative of the government to promote infrastructural development across the cities, municipalities and urban centers in the country. Under this project, the government has recorded tremendous infrastructural development in the country and elevated the status of the towns and urban centers across the country and improved on the social well-being of the citizens. Dominic Antonio Kumo, West Nile TV, Nile cast.